Good morning, all you beautiful ones. I am uh, tend trending towards some happy thoughts in these breaking moments of Saturday morning, and I'm looking at the sunrise, and it's awfully splendid. So I just thought that I'd open this thing up and, and share some bliss. Uh, and I want to encourage everybody to into me see to be known to really really be known and to, and to dare to do it because in 1 John 1 7 it says if we walk in the light as using the light we have fellowship with one another and the blood of his son Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. So, in all of our efforts, in all of our routines that we engage ourselves in day by day to achieve uh, satisfaction through intimacy, we've all got our own hoops that we jump through to be worthy enough to uh, increase our own self-worth or to be esteemed in the eyes of people that we're accountable to at the work site or at school or in our family or significant others. Uh, don't let any of those opinions put a kibosh or a lid on the light that's already in you because we walk in the light as he is in the light and if we're really going to have intimacy it, it has everything to do with light and what is your desire you don't have to put a kibosh or a lid or work under some sort of guise because if the light that's really in you was put on a stand, you might compromise the standing. There might be a shifting of paradigms. There might be a, a rearranging of boundaries because of investments with the work site or the significant others or school. It's like if they really saw what's in you, you know, be real. You have real being. God knows what he's doing when he assembled you. And it's light and it's good. And... Uh, you know, even in that verse where it says that, that we walk in the light as he is in the light and the blood of Jesus Christ covers us from all sin. And I think there's an inherent qualification in that verse that there's a propensity in our nature to cover up, <laughs> which you can constitute as sin. And the remedy is the blood because we are included in Jesus Christ who loved to the full, the full measure of love that was in him. He couldn't contain it. And when that kind of love, when that kind of determination sets into a human being where they're so determined that the opinion of others, the religious establishment, even the, the faculties of his own body, I, I believe that when Jesus Christ's flesh was rent, when he let his blood, it, it wasn't that he's, he's, he's got to offer himself to appease God because of your sin. It's because you have to recognize that the nature of sin is the withholding of affection. And it, it is the putting the kibosh on the light. And it is preventing the light from going on the stand for all to see. And when you're not abiding in real being, and when you're operating under the guise and nobody can see the light. You are in a place of sin. And the remedy for sin is your inclusion in the death of Jesus where his flesh was rent, where his blood was let. Because he was determined that what was inside wasn't going to remain inside, but it wasn't going to come out of him. And what have you desired is fulfilled in that sacrifice. It's fulfilled in the letting of that blood. What has a man desired? But unfailing love is a verse in Proverbs that's resonated in my heart for my beginning steps with Jesus. And it's coming clear. It's a, it's a sounding that is just 
uh, resonating within me again in these days. What have you desired but unfailing love? The context to be free, to run around, to be uh, like a child playing. Unfailing love, just to, the, the liberty without any inhibitions, just to be completely yourself. This is the liberty. This is kingdom reality. Unless you become as a little child, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. So bless you, babies, you beautiful ones. Bless you today with the knowledge that it's okay to be you. And you are free to let your light shine. Put your lamp on a stand and dare to enter into that realm of intimacy where your desires will be fulfilled. I love you. Bye.